sat a bone again this morning. Speaking Romanian and shit. Oh no. Here it comes. He's Agent 420. And he has a license to cook. <laughs> um, what's that? I told you a thousand times, Big Joe is a clone. They come from a factory in Silicon Valley. <laughs> Maybe he's just the factory reject. He's just a goon, guys. Bet he worked for some gang. Must have done something bad to end up here. Yeah. Boring. <laughs> yeah, boring. Shit, you're all in love with Big Joe. You can't stop talking about him, I swear. But his ass is too big. <laughs> <laughs> right on. Come on. <sighs> yep. He's kind of a mystery. <laughs> hey, pipe down back there. Enjoy the scenery for a change, for fuck's sake. Fucking tired. Stop your bitching or get out of here. Hey! Jeez. Sir, yes, sir. Come on, Sean. We're gonna be late. Right. Listen up. I need two teams today. Finn, Penny, Anders, and what your name will clean up the mess from the storm. Yeah. The rest of you get to sit and trim. Girls gotta sit in their asses while the males are outside? Yeah, right on. Like I wanna go pick up a bunch of shit all over the camp. Hey, you wanna trade places? Shut up, Daniel. You got a deal, kid. Yeah! I get to go outside! Hey! You guys still don't get it. This is work, not a goddamn summer camp. You're not special. There are dozens of hippies like yourselves begging for work at the next town. Kid, your dad should teach you to shut your mouth. Finn, you better watch your guys. Of course, boss. No problem. Okay, so move it. Yeah! You heard the man. Stop fucking around and get in your teams, all right? Hold up. You and me are gonna talk. Remember, I'm only letting you and your brother work here because Finn put in a good word. I know, we really appreciate it. Thanks. Yeah, yeah, no ass kissing, please. Just watch out. Next time your brother fucks up, you're both gone ASAP. Look, I'm not trying to bust your balls, but this is a pot farm and he's a fucking kid. You hear me? Got it. I'll keep him out of the way. You better. This business has enough shit already. Right. I'm... gonna go check on him, then. How old is he, anyway? Oh, uh... nine. He 
He's nine years old. Jeez, tough age. Gotta keep a close eye on them. Not my business, but... You got kids? Yeah, a daughter. Twelve years old. Do you... Do you get to see her? Not often. But she needs the money I get out here. Okay, I'm not your buddy. Get the fuck out of here. You got a lot of work to do today. All right. Uh, thank you. Hey. You okay? Now for the fun part. I need this all done by tonight. No excuses. So, get on it! All right, we good? Yeah, Finn is playing boss with his crew. I told him they'd all work late if they didn't finish on time. I hope so. Okay, I gotta make some calls. Well, what are you waiting for? You know the drill. <sighs> what? Dude, this sucks ass. I feel like I'm in prison. I hear you, but we're not. This is just our job, man. We have to follow Meryl's rules. For now. Especially you. What do you mean? He's not into having kids around here. So don't give him any excuse to get pissed off. Yeah, you never know with Meryl. He can be cool, but scary when he loses his shit. Okay, jeez. I'm not doing anything bad. Look, I know you guys are having the time of your life here, but I'm not. So shut your mouth and give me some quiet for fuck's sake, okay? Well, why do you stick around then? None of your damn business. <sighs> but I'd be long gone if I had the chance. Trust me. All right, man. Just pick a bud and get to it. Oh, this is nothing. Last spring we were trimming about two or three pounds a day. Whoa! That's a lot. Yep. Had to work overnight all the time. 15 hours straight once. Yeah, <laughs> trying to forget. I was done with Kush after that. <laughs> Whoa, we are lucky. Right, and then your arms fall off. Fuck all that. Ah, fuck this. This game sounds bad, man. What is it? You got work to do. Mind your own business. <laughs> okay, whatever, Mr. Grumpy. Jeez, it's called Mustard Party, okay? What? You're playing Mustard Party? Jeez, that's so cool. I should clean I my scissors. Cool. They're a mess. I don't care. Aw, oh, Joseph. <laughs> Are you not on the scoreboard? Shut up. You got work to do. Okay, sweetie. Dude, I told you a thousand times. 
focus. Trim the plant, not your hand. Okay. Jeez. Sorry, Sean. <laughs> Gotta be more focused. Ah. My ass hurts. Fuck, this is really boring. Oh, poor baby. That's the job. Don't think, just work. Okay. Just don't ask me to smile for the camera all day long. I don't know. We get paid to give haircuts to marijuana. It's kind of cool. Yeah. I'd rather do this all day than be in a stupid classroom. <sighs> Damn, Sean. We really need to do something about your hair. What? what the, yeah. What's wrong with my hair? Are you kidding me? It's hiding your pretty face. I can't allow that. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> it's not that bad. Just... Just a mess, yes. But worry not. We've got everything to take care of it at the camp. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> uh. Hey. Narrow here. Sure. Uh. What's this? Yeah. But for real, okay. though, if you could snap your fingers and go anywhere. Cassidy, we get it. Over and over. Hey, come on. You don't want to be here. Give me a break. I can't. So what? So I'm allowed to dream a little? You won't get hurt. <laughs> Promise. Ugh. What about Louisiana? Must be so sweet this time of year. Jesus. Okay, man. Calm down. Jesus. Come on, dream yeah. big. I'd yeah. like to see the pyramids or the top of Mount Fuji. Sean Diaz, global traveler. Yeah, stocking Humboldt. No, bitch, bitch, bitch. Nobody's yeah. making you babies work here. No problem. You guys are all the same. Cool, let's be trimigrants. Then you barely work for a month. This asshole. is Yo, my life. Come here for a sec. Shit, it's always something. Damn. Can you folks put a lid on it? We got shit to do here. Whoa, whoa. Damn. Easy for you to say, cowgirl. Some of us have to work. Please. I bust my ass like everybody else. Uh huh. Don't even. You're always looking for an excuse. Ooh, it's 420. Hey, Sean, let's talk. Ow, my arm hurts. Wah, wah. Get off my crack, Hannah. <sighs> We've been stuck out here for two months. I didn't come out to California to live on a fucking farm. I want to see some water. Are we going to squat out here forever? Build a house? What? Stop. You know we voted to stay for a while. Once it's legal, Just we ain't got no more job here. Shit. How's it going? Same as always. They want everything by tomorrow. Friday? How are we supposed to... I'm just over this place. Then go! Ugh. Take the fuck off. If we're a family, we stick together. Going too fast. You're on the bus. Take your time, dude. We're off the bus. Hey, everybody chill. Let's not get... Sean, step back. This is our business. Just grow up, Cassidy. Stop acting like a princess. <clears throat> Thanks, Mom. Anything else? Yeah. But we don't have the time. Did you fall out of the wrong side of the tent or what? That's not Shit. my problem, Joseph. You're clueless. You know the drill. Do your work. Yeah. Sure. Fuck this shit. Hannah, sorry. I know. Hey, I don't want to fight. Been a long, crappy week. Just keep it fucking down in here, okay?
Cheer up, my little Sean. <laughs> Trust me, it's not as bad as you think. Other farms in the area is just straight down exploit your ass. <laughs> Look at these baby soft hands. Trimming sucks. At least I didn't cut myself again today. Oh, you'll get scars, but you'll get it. Part of the fun. It ain't sexier. Later, Big Joe. Smile, asshole. So, did you have a good day at work, honey? Actually, kind of fun. Cass and Hannah cracked me up. They're like sisters. <laughs> yeah. They love to start shit with each other. Then get high. <laughs> Short-term memory loss. How was your day? Did you have fun outside? <laughs> nope. Picked up branches and shit. Got covered in mud. Would not recommend. Still sounds better than sitting on your ass all day. I feel you, Sean. As always. That's why you're such a good fit for the family. You totally hooked us up. A job, cash, friends, safety. Sean, everybody's cool with you two. <laughs> Daniel is your secret weapon. I don't know. He's way too young for this bullshit. You gotta be zen about this. The more you try and control him, the less you have. It's deep, huh? Swear, he acts just like me. <laughs> That's how I know he's smart. He's also got a kick-ass hermano. <laughs> My brothers are like that. So, what's your story? Um, I mean, you don't have to tell me, but... Yeah, I was pretty lucky. My parents were okay. <laughs> I had three big brothers who spoiled me. Aw, <laughs> you were the baby boy? Like Daniel. <laughs> but my family was kind of mm, messed up. My dad was like a front for hot cars. Yeah, he'd steal, strip, and sell them. My brothers and I helped him. You know, typical shit. Till we got busted. <laughs> Fucking feds wanted me and my brothers to testify. <laughs> but my dad narked on us instead. Damn, Finn. That sucks. <laughs> what happened? I went to jail. When I got out, I was like, fuck everybody. <laughs> so I hit the road, Jack. And anyways, I found a cooler family out here. You know, I love traveling, checking out new things. Yeah, never gets old. <laughs> well, you know, going to Mexico is the ultimate road trip. If we make it there, dude, who knows? It's pretty scary. So fucking far. Hey, hey it is. Uh, but you have time and a strong, uh, damn it, uh, will. Yeah. N nothing can stop you from going there. Uh, it will be all right, Sean. Don't worry. Okay. Therapy's over. Oh. Yeah. I gotta move those water tanks for the shower and stuff. It's cool you're doing your part, Sean. Finally. Glad I can help. So, Hannah, how long ago did you come here to Humboldt for work? Nine years. I left Santa Fe because it was hell. No money. Nobody. <sighs> Let's get these over to the kitchen and shower. Oh, no, 
almost done. Need two more hands, Dishmaster? No thanks. Almost done. I'll meet you at the lake for my training. Okay then. Carry that one to the shower. <sighs> Think I made some good trims today. And talking with the girls is always entertaining. Here than other places. Don't wait for you near the lake, dude. Too many junkies. And Don't forget me. I won't. Together sometimes. See you there. No home. Get high. What the fuck else are you gonna do on the street? Clean it up. We see so much trash in the forest around here. California is very green. But starting. To Damn. Damage. Trimming is hard. How do these guys keep coming back? Pennies all over the place. He'll go anywhere. Sweet. But can you do it without your power? Oh, yeah. I can do better with my own skills now. Next level. Onward. Ready to rumble? Fucking A. Let's start with our team howl. T.S. Lobos. Come on. Ooh. I don't have time for that. So, let's go. I'm ready. Hold up. Too many people over there. Let's hit the other side. Hey, can you move that tree trunk? Duh. I wasn't gonna drop it on you. Very funny, man. Okay, let's have some fun.
Hmm, let's try this. I want you to focus on these ugly mushrooms and blow them apart. Dude, I'll blow the shit out of that. I'm waiting. Or maybe you... What the? I told you I will. Bet it's different here in the summer. Penny said it gets crazy crowded. People everywhere. Yeah, that's why we can train out here now. No people. Uh, think you can lift all those? I know I can. Whoa, Daniel, that's a, that's amazing. Come on, find something else. <laughs> Pick a rock, any rock. Okay, and? Let's test your aiming system. Target in sight. Locked and loaded. Awesome! Okay, you're good. Now, let's spice things up a bit. Bring it on. Holy shit! That was not a fair fight. That's right. What's next? That was some next level shit, Daniel. I can do anything now. Hey, don't go crazy. This is still a secret. You still have to be careful with it, man. You always want it both ways. Use it, then don't. We just have to make sure you can control it. Well, it's my power. Not yours. Whatever. You better chill the fuck out, Daniel. I mean it. Why are you making a drama out of everything I say? Am I a bad big brother? Because I hang out with other people? with them that sucks oh come on daniel bet you don't even want me around anymore don't say that you know it's always you and me and i know i mean never mind that's it enough you're being a brat can't say anything without you having a shit fit we're family We still have a long way to go, and we have to go together, right? I know it sucks, but you have to grow up now. Stop it! Stop it, Daniel! No!
not a kid anymore. Serious munchies. Any chips left? Dude, you scarfed the whole fucking bag. Have another hit. Yeah, yeah. I packed a fat ball. You're getting tired, babe. You shouldn't have had a long death to leg ducks. I took both roads everywhere. Whoa. You see that shit? It's a fucking UFO! I'm serious, man, look! They're finally coming to take you back! Tripped on a few words, but y'all are baked, so I'm good. <laughs> good job, sis. So beautiful. Damn. Why you ain't rich and famous? <laughs> I mean, you can hook us up. I love your voice. Meow. <laughs> Thanks, everyone. I take ass, cash, or grass. <laughs> <clears throat> hint, hint. John, take a puff and pass it to your friend. Nah, I'm... I'm good. Daniel! No fucking way. Jeez! Huh. I was just joking. Ha ha. You better be. That is all for us. We must sleep. Ah, there go the party animals. What is it? Like 10 o'clock? No worry, Finn. We'll party like rock stars tomorrow for our last night. Come on, one more round. Gonna Sleep act. tight. Jeez, I swear every time you play that song, Cass, I see my poor black flag. Oh, man. I'm sorry. Who's black flag? It was my dog back in Colorado until last year. Yeah. Something like that. A year ago, we were hopping a train, just me, Finn, and Cass, and Black Flag. We got caught stealing some shit in some random town. Motherfuckers called the cops on us. I had to run for it. We saw that train from afar and went straight at it. Cops were right behind us. We barely made it. But nobody's able to get Black Flag. Jesus. Yeah, I see him chasing after the train, yapping at me. But I left him there. That's it. End of story. I hope the cops picked him up. Got him a better home. I think about that damn dog every day. Here's to Black Flag. Sorry about your pup, Hannah. Fuck it. That's life. Yeah. Or death. Well. Yin and yang, right? Jeez, sorry, I ruined the mood. Don't worry, hands. We can do worse. Let's hear everybody's worst memory, fair and square. <laughs> Are you serious? Why the fuck not? We all need to say our piece once in a while. Who's up? Penny? Cool, bust out the violins. Check this out. Say hello to my little friend, Jinx. Met him dumpster diving in New Mexico. He was cool. The boy had issues. Mood swings, delirious, self-harm, fun shit like that. You seem to get better with me. I think I loved him. He gave me this coin. 
said he never gave his trust to no one before. We used to come here every now and then, hook up on cash, but he disappeared a few miles north from here in a pot farm just like this one. He went out one night high as fuck and zoom. That was the last time I saw him. Now I gotta hold on to this fucking penny just in case. Is that how you got your name? Yep. Well, he must mean a lot to you. That sucks, brother. Shit like that happens around here. Plus, the guy needed medication. Sure did. I just hope he's okay. Maybe I'll run into his crazy ass someday. Who knows? It's a small world. I hand him back the trust that he gave me. All right. Bad vibes indeed. Can we do worse? Uh, Jake? Please? Well, just don't laugh. I guess my worst memory is when I lost my faith. Yeah, you mentioned it. What happened? I used to be a sheep. A true mm. believer. I was raised in Haven Point, Nevada. Small community. We have this amazing reverend. People line up to listen to her. She's intense. But for some reason, things happened to me and I started doubting myself. It kind of escalated. People said I was trouble. I couldn't get the answers I was looking for. Even from my own folks. I know the feeling. I felt so lost. Wasn't sure what to believe anymore. So I left. I just needed to be alone for a while, you know? Find the truth by myself. I'm still looking for it. Jacob, my son, maybe we are the truth you were looking for. I'm glad I found you guys. I don't know if I'll ever go back there. Not until I get a signal from God, at least. I hope you can. Right, your family misses you a lot. I miss them too. Just not the other stuff. You probably did the right thing. I hope you find the space and answers you need. Thank you, Sean. What about you, Cassidy? Your turn. Uh, uh-uh. Pass. I already sang a song. <laughs> Figures. What about you, Sean? You obviously don't have to talk about that shit show back in Seattle. But if you have something else, Yeah, I've got a whole bag of these. Don't worry. We're all listening, man. Well, this was a while before we met you guys in that market. We crashed at an abandoned house with our pup, Mushroom. One morning, she got out to pee and disappeared. She had run into a fucking Puma. No way. I swear. What the hell happened? I faced it. Like I'm facing you now. Our puppy was dead. There was nothing we could do. We failed her. Poor puppy. Oh, fuck. I'm sorry, boys. That's awful. Laws of nature. But that still sucks. Cougars are beautiful creatures, but they're super scary. I was so afraid it would hurt Daniel, too. I bet. Kid wouldn't stand a chance against one of these. Yeah. Life is a bitch. We can only go with the flow. Like a river. Yeah, that's why I'm not dragging around any bad memories. Come on. Bull fucking Oh, you shit, started this man. shit, bitch. Don't punk out now. Uh -huh. yeah, listen, smart asses. I'm just saying you can't change the past. So you just got to focus on what's next. 
Memories are just lessons for the future. The future, huh? What's your big plan, Prophet? Want to know what my plan is? Picture this. A kick-ass beach house in Costa Rica. Sunshine, feet in the sand, sweet ocean view. We'd be one big, fucked up, happy, dysfunctional family. We just chill and, and sing and drink cocktails out of coconuts. Only thing we need is a little cash along the way. And then, boom. <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ. That's your dream? Beach house and coconuts? <laughs> oh, uh, too boring for you? This sounds like my folks' retirement plan to Florida. I don't need anything else than what we already have. Sure, we're working our asses right now, but we can beat it if we want. I'm not gonna settle down. No way. That's how shit starts, you know? When you start having things of your own, things you ought to defend, property, land, family. What do you think you're missing out on now? Um, coconut cocktails? Well, agree to disagree, fucker. Man, I'm too high for your shit. It's time to crash. And Penny goes down. Peace out, brother. Night, night. Looks like we still have some booze left. Who's in? <laughs> oh, twist my arm. Uh, Teeny tiny drink. And we need to talk about Sean's hippie hair. Boy needs a real haircut. Oh, hell yes he does. <laughs> now it's your turn to get a trim. Karma. I'll call it a day too. Night, everyone. Hey, I'm wiped out. Are you ready for bed yet? Yep. Yeah. I'm ready to crash too. Let's go. What? No. You're gonna miss our makeover skills. I'll fall asleep. And then you'll turn my ear on. Oh, get out of here. Good night, Finn. Night, Sweet night. Dreams, yeah. See you in the morning. You didn't have to come with me. You know? I know. Hey. Can we talk about what happened on the lake? Yeah. That was pretty wild when you lifted that tree. I didn't know you could do such things. Since when did you... I didn't know either. I was just upset. It was the first time. Are you losing control over your power? No way. I mean, it's just different now. I can feel it. Like... It's alive inside me. Strong. I just wish I could have a normal life again and stop being so angry all the time. I'm just so tired of all this crap. I feel the same way, dude. It's okay. Just don't feed the beast, you know? Yeah. You know, I still like it. But, it's kind of tight on me now. Yeah. You're too big for it. I am? But, I would like to hear about the Wolf Brothers, if that's okay. Just, don't tell the others. Okay? Promise. All right. Get comfy. Where were we? Oh, yeah. The Wolf Brothers joined a pack of hounds that roamed all over. Finally, the brothers had found new friends, but the little wolf wasn't so sure about the new pack. He didn't want his brother to run away with them. And so the little wolf would howl and prowl, not knowing what was going on, but he didn't know that nothing 
could ever separate the Wolf Brothers from each other. Ever. Sean, move it now. What? What? 